A senior advisor to Mike Bloomberg, this is Tim O'Brien, was on CNN's New Day and was sort of previewing a little bit of Bloomberg's strategy going into the second debate. You know, the last one was a disaster. So, what has Bloomberg learned from that experience? Here's what he had to say. I think Mike has to answer these questions forcefully and clearly. I think he has to be ready to be the target of everyone else on the stage. I think there was something of a circular firing squad in the last debate. Uh, I think he got his sea legs halfway through that debate, but he has to have his sea legs at the beginning of the debate tonight for sure. Okay, so look, yeah, he, he they, they acknowledged sort of he didn't do great. I, I would debate the point that he got his sea legs halfway through and what was doing very well for himself that didn't that didn't come across. Well, he said communism in a very, you know, whiny voice, so mm-hmm. that counted as getting his sea legs, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess in the second half maybe they focused on him less and so that's good. Um but anyway, uh, look, so that's that's just a little preview of he's going to try to do better, I guess. <laughs> but what is what form does that actually take? Well, maybe it takes the form of attacking uh Bernie Sanders even though bear in mind just about 10 days ago, the Bloomberg campaign said, um, we're not interested in Dems attacking Dems or doing any of that. But apparently a lot has changed in 10 days, as he'll make clear. Does that change tonight? That does change tonight. And I think something changed, unfortunately, over the last 10 days. Uh, you know, it's a primary now. People are holding each other accountable. For the most part, we haven't gone after other Democrats. I think Bernie's campaign has run itself in a very thuggish way. There are very Trumpy-like aspects to the way that Bernie's been running things. Or is it just that they're winning? I mean, is that what's changed? No, because this became this happened before the debate. You know, Bernie's team put out falsehoods about Mike that we had to answer. Uh, Bernie has gone through this campaign without being held accountable. He hasn't been vetted as thoroughly by the media as some of the other candidates. Other Democrats on the stage haven't challenged him on the debate stage as much as they've challenged each other. And Bernie has a very trippy record to say the least. So sometimes I will choose <laughs> clips hoping that the guest will get fired up about it and you couldn't hear her but while that was going on Emma multiple times was like what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean that he hasn't been vetted. All the other Democrats have done is just go after him. And by the mm-hmm. way, other Democrats, Bloomberg is not a Democrat. So stop referring to Democrats as if you're a part of that field. Mm-hmm. You're way less of a Democrat than Bernie Sanders is who is on Democratic leadership by the way. The idea that Bernie has not been vetted. Come on, every debate. How are you going to pay for Medicare for all the bill that he is championing specifically. They spend like a quarter of the time at minimum at mm-hmm. every debate saying, hey, you yes. candidate, tell Bernie why his plan is unrealistic and gonna be way too expensive. It's just absurd. And you know, I get that that guy has to make his case for his candidate, and I'm sure he's getting paid three times the amount that other campaign advisors would be getting because <laughs> that's what Mike Bloomberg's doing. He's buying off people so they can stomach working for such a clown. But you know that that that. So yes, that clip got me fired up. It did, it did. <laughs> and uh, yeah. By the way, quick little note on the paying people, and we've been saying that isn't necessarily going to buy you loyalty. Um, so Ken Klippenstein, um, friend of the show, whether he wants to be or not, um, so he had gotten leaked the <laughs> one of the NDAs for Bloomberg campaign staff from campaign staff, and just today he got leaked talking points on why Bloomberg endorsed Scott Brown against Elizabeth Warren. It is just Swiss cheese over there because. Because it's not on a foundation of people who actually look up to and admire Mike Bloomberg. It's just based on money. Oh, and the, those talking points made no sense. It was that yeah. Scott Brown was an NRA, an anti NRA champion. Because, you know, Elizabeth Warren, on her off days, she goes to the yeah. gun range and, you know, yep. but, but like eats shells of guns. <laughs> like she's just like, yeah, that's how she brushes her teeth every morning. See, that's what libs think gun nuts do. They right. eat bullets. Right. No, I, I am I, think that. I am a commie, so that's true. I noted. <laughs> um yeah, and uh Bernie's been running his campaign in a very thuggy, Trumpy way. A thuggy way. Dude won't stop talking about Medicare. What are you talking about, thugs? But anyway, that that's what he says. And um uh, I, I love, I, I apologize, I don't remember the name of the host, but that she jumped in and said, or is it that he's winning? And that is a, that is an obvious point. I mean, I mean, a great point, she deserves credit for it. So 10 days ago, they're like, oh, kumbaya, let's, let's not fight each other. Since then, uh, Bloomberg had a terrible debate. His numbers are going down a little bit in national polling. Uh, Bernie has won two more contests. Yes, something has changed, but it's not that Bernie's been mean since then. The dude refuses to to really attack in ads.
Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.